Problem high above the earth, and now the federal government is taking steps to clean up the space junk. KCONI's Chip Reed shows us how a space fence could prevent a disaster. In Hundreds of miles above Earth is a massive field of junk traveling 17,000 miles an hour, leftovers from decades of space travel. Satellites that have been decommissioned, booster rockets, empty fuel containers, fairings, leftover pieces of rocket uh, launch vehicles. Astronomer Derek Pitts says even a small object could seriously damage the International Space Station. Something the size of uh, less than an inch. If it's traveling at a very high speed, it can do incredible damage. A fictional worst case scenario played out on the big screen last year. Mission abort. In the blockbuster film, Gravity. Multiple satellites are down and they keep on falling. That's unlikely to happen in the real world, but experts say the threat is growing. And it's only going to get worse, and if you know where the objects are, you can start to avoid them. Steve Bruce is working on Lockheed Martin's Space Fence radar system, expected to be ready in 2018. It'll be based in the South Pacific, near the equator, for optimum range. It's really revolutionary. It will map out what's up in space very, very well. In 2009, the U.S. satellite Iridium was destroyed when it collided with a defunct Russian satellite, creating thousands of pieces of new space debris. Current systems only track about 23,000 objects. The space fence is expected to monitor about 10 times that, steering satellites and space missions away from danger. Satellites really have become a major portion of how we live on this planet, everywhere from communications to early warning for weather. And so a uh, billion dollars is not a big price to pay to try to get control of this problem. Experts say there's so much trash that eventually it could affect our ability to go into space. Scientists now are trying to determine how to avoid creating any more junk in space. And take a look at deep space right here. How pretty is this? Pictures from the Hubble telescope. And NASA says this composite image includes about 10,000 galaxies. It goes back to within a few hundred million years of the Big Bang. It was created during nearly 850 orbits of the Earth by the telescope from 2003 to 2012.